Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. Happy Sunday, May the 22nd, 2022. This is episode number 397 of your three business tips at three o'clock and in around three minutes. This week, small business owners, solopreneurs, we're kicking off a series talking about starting a business and all the details associated with it over these next seven pieces of it. Today, we're going to talk about business plan. We're going to talk about having an executive summary, market analysis, and your sales goals. And of course, we'll talk about why you should have a business plan. Small business owners, solopreneurs, a business plan would absolutely be a necessity if you were going to go to a bank or financial service or a crowdfunding and wanted to put together a goal for funding for your business. But even if you're not doing that, if you're bootstrapping like me, or you're starting out, you may need, actually you don't may need, you need a business plan to help you get organized and take it to the next level. Now, you can Google, there's like 12 step business plans out there, there's business plan templates out there, but I really wanna zero in on three things I think you need to focus on. Business tip number one, your executive summary. You have got to have a summarization of what your business is gonna do. I think it should answer the five W's, who, what, when, where, why, and how right? You should have your company description in there, your structure. Are you going to be a solopreneur? Are you going to be an LLC? Are you going to be a, an S corp or major corporation? You need to have these things figured out. Are you going to have partners with it? Who are your partners? What are the roles they're going to do? Now, again, you can stretch this out as much as you want, make it as detailed as you want. And there are some templates out that you should consider, but these are the high notes I think you should hit. Business tip number two, you need to do some market analysis. We talked about that in previous episode with Will it fly? But you need to know how many competitors you have out there. What is the competitors doing? What's the profile of the ideal client that you have? You know, what do they listen to? Where do they shop? Things like that. Have a good market analysis to determine if this is a good market for you to go into. As a web designer, I see clients go into businesses all the time because they think it's a great idea. They don't realize that the market is saturated in the particular area that they're in. Just do a little bit of analysis. Business tip number three, you need to figure out your sales goal before your business gets start, started. Is it realistic? What, how much capital do I need? How long is the sales cycle? You know, Do they buy this just once a year? Do they buy this every day? Will I have repeat business and repeat clients in this? Just figure out those details. Now, I know this sounds a, a little crazy, but I'm just talking about the, the, the main deals that you might need in order to be successful. And having a business plan written down is a good exercise for you or you and your potential partner to take into consideration. That's what I'm learning this week. Anything I learn, I throw over the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.